write fx equals x square minus 4x minus 12 in the standard form by completing the square so we want to put this in the standard form standard form which is a times quantity x minus h square plus k y equals or fx equals it doesn't matter okay, this is the standard form so we need to complete the square and recall whenever we have x square plus bx plus something to complete the square all we have to do is add half of b square okay half of b square so b over 2 quantity square and when we factor we get identical factors and it becomes quantity square that's x plus uh, this plus or minus I mean this is plus and b over 2 if this is minus we would have minus b over 2 okay that's always the case so let's go here so we have fx equals x square minus 4x minus 12 so b is negative 4 or you can just say 4 so negative 4 and half of negative 4 square we need to add half of b square so b is negative 4 negative 4 over 2 half of negative 4 is just 4 over 2 negative 2 and is square negative 2 is square negative is square positive 4 so we need to add 4 to complete the square so we add 4 and to make it equal to the previous line we subtract 4 or we can add 4 to the right side and add 4 to the left side same thing or you can do plus 4 minus 4 to make it equal to the previous line so in the left we have now fx plus 4 we'll move this 4 to the other side we must move this to the other side so to move we subtract 4 so fx plus 4 equals uh, we want to write only these three terms and negative 2 will separate because this plus 4 will make the first two x square plus bx a complete square so x square minus 4x plus 4 in one place and this negative 2 will separate we factor this and this comes out to be a perfect square okay uh, let me factor over here x square minus 4x plus 4 which is x square x x 4 2 times 2 4 to get negative 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 and that's x minus 2 square so this is in fact x minus 2 quantity square and we need we must move 4 to the other side so subtract 4 okay instead of instead of adding 4 for both sides we can we should have added plus 4 and minus 4 on the right side same thing so fx equals now this is a perfect square we get x minus 2 quantity square minus 12 minus 4 we combine minus 16 so this is in the standard form so this is we wrote we wrote, we wrote this in the standard form now we need to answer a couple of things here find the vertex vertex means hk okay hk so hk is a x minus h is square a is there is nothing that means one this is a x minus h is square so h is two x minus h plus k but we have negative 16 so k is in fact negative 16 so negative 16 is plus negative 16 so negative 16 is k 2 negative 16 is the vertex now find the axis of symmetry that will be just a vertical line x equals the first coordinate 2 find the x intercepts now we take some work for x intercept what are you going to do we set y equals 0 and solve for x okay so let me do over here y equals 0 that means in the function y is same as function so function equals 0 equals x square minus 4x minus 12 
now we solve this for x so zero we can write zero on the other side factor this polynomial trinomial x squared x x 12 6 times 2 12 to get negative 4 negative 6 plus 2 and this factors gives us x equals 6 and this gives us negative 2 so the x intercepts are 6 and negative 2 find the y intercept so we said x equals 0 into the function so here is the function just set x equals 0 so 0 minus 0 minus 12 just minus 12 or negative 12 so y intercept is negative 12 okay next uh, determine whether the function has a maximum or minimum and we need to find that value so let's look at the standard form okay the standard form we got is uh, 1 x minus 2 quantity squared minus 16 we could have written plus negative 16 that's the function same thing like this and this is a equals 1 and when this a is positive number when a is positive number then we'll get graph like this opening up graph it's like y equals x squared if this were negative then the graph would be opening downward okay if this were negative but in our case this is positive so opens up that means the vertex will be the lowest point on the graph so we get minimum so we get minimum the answer is minimum and the value value means maximum minimum always the y coordinate and look at the vertex vertex is 2 negative 16 so negative 16 is the minimum value so that will be minimum and the minimum value is negative 16 and finally it asks find the range of f so when we graph i don't know the graph but it will be something like this the lowest it can go is negative 16 so i don't know somewhere some i mean this is not correct graph anyways something similar to this and this is the lowest point it can go that's negative 16 so the range the graph is negative 16 all the way so the range will be negative 16 that's the lowest point and all bigger numbers okay final 